All right, we are now in Ojamakan. This is not in a touristy part of Osaka. So we actually went out for a bit with Sabu and Hige, our friends here in Japan. And we are gonna go into the retro game area of Ojamakan. And let's see if we can find anything that's decently priced and go from there. Okay. See any games like? Wow. So we're we're in, we're in a drama come here. Are all the Super Famicom games. We got a box copy of Rockman and Forte for ninety four thousand. Ihatobo Monogatari, the story of Ihatobo for 9,400. This is a really chill vibes game. I should really stream that on Twitch sometime. Holy cow, 21,000 for Clock Tower. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Darius Force for 11,000. Man, these prices are kind of crazy. Estopolis 2, this is called the Lufia, I think in the US. 6,000 yen box, that's not too bad. Oni, this is a long running series. 11,000 for Esopolis 1 back there, which is crazy, crazy expensive. Here we got Kunio Kun no Jidai Geki Dayo Zain Shugo. That one is 17,000 yen, Jesus Christ. Rockman World 2 for 11,000 bucks. King of Fighters 96 for 12,000 bucks. Uh, let's see if there's anything worth mentioning back there. Fantasy Star for 6,000. For the Mark III, which is Sega Master System. Pretty cool. Back there we have Splatterhouse One Pocket Graffiti in box for 8,280. I feel like that is a lot for that game. Um, let's see here. Dodge Jump Pay for 4,700. That's not bad. Uh, let's see. Faria for 8,000. I think I have a friend who's looking for this game for Faria for uh, the Famicom. But I'm not going to come back here, so uh, it doesn't matter. Let's see, uh, Kokoron, 11,000 for Kokoron, which is pretty cool. Here we have Dragon Ball, Game Boy Advance, Dragon Ball, excellent game, 8,000, 4,400 for, for Starfy, Rockman Exe, Metroid, oh my gosh, Metroid Fusion for 22,000, Metroid Zero Mission for 19,000, crazy, crazy, crazy. Let's see, we have some new stuff. We have uh, Akamajo Dracula, the game with uh, Sonia Belmont for 7,900 loose, you guys. That's like 60 bucks for a loose cart. $30 for the Kunio Kun game. Uh, Daiku no Gensan for 3,900, which is insanity. Wow, these prices are crazy. And we're not even like a touristy park. We're like out in like some street somewhere. Uh, let's see here, Puffle Mail, loose copies of Puffle Mail for 4,700. Alien 3 for 5,900. Sailor Moon, another story, the RPG game for 4,800. Sailor Moon Super S, the fighting game, 6,700 yen for that game, which is kind of crazy. Area 88 for 3,400 loose, which uh, that's not too bad. That's a good game, it's a good shoot em up. I might get. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Shinobi Kun for MSX2 for 5,900. You don't see a whole lot of MSX2 stuff, so that's kind of cool. Down here we've got some PC Engine games. We can't really see them all, but 6,000 for Atomic Robo Kit. We got 5,700 for PC Genjin, which is bonk. PC Genjin 2, I think that's the cover. Uh, let's see, what else can we see? Some Sega Saturn stuff. Nothing else really worth note here. Space Channel 5 Part 2 for the Sega Dreamcast for 7,900. Kind of crazy. Here we have some Neo Geo MBS games. We have uh, for, oh my god, 27,000 for Tsukai Gangan Koshin Kyoku. This one is released here as Aggressors of Dark Combat, which also form the initials ADK. Samurai Spirits, the first one for 4,780. That's not too bad. The King of Fighters 94, 95. Uh, Art of Fighting, the first Art of Fighting for 15,000, which is 
crazy, but uh, whatever. And then, I don't know, the rest of the games are a bunch of random computer stuff. This random wall of Super Famicom. Super Famicom, yeah. These are not too bad. Here's a copy of uh, Cho Makaimura, which is Super Goals and Ghosts for 1980 That's not too bad. There's a panel de pawn for 880 so you're looking at about seven bucks. Animaniacs for 2900 which is not too bad. Street Fighter Zero for 2600 You're looking at about 20 bucks for this, which I might actually get because that's, that's actually cheap. Uh, we have to tell them to get it. Final Fantasy 1700 Not bad. We got Donkey Kong 2. That's what we got. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Here we got Sega Dreamcast. Nothing really ex ex exceptional. Here's the Street Fighter Zero 3 Psycho Dojo for 2800 2900 Here we got some, some, I don't know what's going on here, but it's an 18 plus game. So they're like, yeah. Uh, let's see, Asobo Pro Yaku Team. I don't know what that is, some sort of cheap baseball game. All right, we've got this glass case here with some stuff, Neo Geo Mini, nothing too extraordinary. Whoa, 2,000, 24,000 for the Mega Drive Mini 2? What happened? <laughs> Why is that so much? Game Boys are kind of expensive, 8,000 for a Game Boy Pocket, almost 20,000 for a Game Boy Light, which is crazy. These SPs as well. 20,000 you're looking at. Wow, that's crazy. Even Super Game Boys that used to be like, you yeah. know, 2,000 yen 2000. all day, every day are now yep. more than double in price. And like I said, we're not in like a particularly uh, uh, touristy area here. So it's crazy to see these prices. Look, even these like yellow ass Super Famicoms, 3,480 and it doesn't come with anything. It's just a Super Famicom. Wow, this place has a really good selection of Famicom Disk System games though. I'm kind of impressed. Lots of fun Disk System games. Look at this, I don't know what this is, but it, I like it. Our, our Doom something. Look at, we got Zelda's here. Zelda. Moero Twin B. This is the Link, Link one, right? Yeah. Here, this is a Japanese Zelda's cousin. <laughs> This uses the same engine as the original Legend of Zelda. I forget what it's called. Doki Doki Panic. Doki Doki Panic. Hey, that's not bad. For Doki Doki Panic, I'm kind of, uh, kind of impressed. Meru Bura Bure, more twin B, which is cool. Look at 30, 3, 2,900 for Kiki Kai Kai. That's not bad. Yeah. Which one's Kiki, which one's Kai Kai? Which one's Kiki and which one's Kai Kai? That's the question. Look at this thing. Isn't that cool? That is Look, cool. this is like a case. It's just there, but look at wow, that's kind of cool. Ooh, case. Wow, Mario 2. It's pretty cool for wrestling. Wow. Ooh, Gal Force. Wow, Gal Force. Man, I would get this just for the art, man. I don't have a disc system game, but or to play it, but I kind of want to get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. So we just got done shopping at Ojama Khan. I don't know where this one is at. I'm not sure. We're on some street somewhere. Higa and Sabu brought us. And... All right. And I got a couple games. I got Street Fighter Zero for the Super Famicom for 2,600. This is a little less than $20, so it's not bad. And then I got this one, which was kind of expensive. This one was almost as expensive as my Super Famicom game. This is Kaiketsu Yanchamaru. This is Kid Nikki in the US for the NES. This is the Game Boy version. So these are my two gets. I would have gotten more, but I think we're on a little bit of a time crunch, but it's really cool to be able to grab a couple games for decent prices. Not everything in there was super outrageous, which is good. But uh, anyhow, if you look around hard enough, there's still some deals that you'll be able to get. Anyway, you guys, thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>